Welcome to Financial Fridays with Dawn. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about who controls your money in your retirement plan. Most of America, actually over, I don't know the exact number, but it's over trillions of dollars are saved in people's 401k plans. That's where the majority of their money is. So now the problem with that is, while it may be good that we're saving money, the problem is we don't control that. So if we don't control our money in that plan, who controls it? The government controls the money in that plan. So there's right now relatively, we're in the relatively lowest tax brackets that we've been in. And that could change at any moment based on who's in office or even just pure math of what's going on um, with the debt and all that. I don't have to get into that. We have discussed that before. So there's some things that the government can do. One, the first thing that they could do is they could raise the age that we can take our money out without that 10% penalty. So currently it's 59 and a half. And if you take it out after that, you don't have to pay that 10% penalty. So we, what they can do is raise it to 70 and a half. So most people, what this is going to do is force them to retire, to keep working. They don't want to retire if they're going to have to pay a 10% extra penalty on top of the taxes that they're already going to have to pay. This could be like easily 40% for some people. So that's not going to be an option. But then there's those people that say, well, you know what? I don't care. I'm done. I can't work anymore. 67, I'm gone. And now they're stuck with that extra 10% penalty on there. So that's what could happen. The government could also come in and say, you know what, we need some more money. You have to invest a certain portion of your 401k in our government bonds. So that could be an option. Or what they could do too is keep everything the way it's going, but increase the tax bracket on the qualified money, money in your 401k plan. So they may raise the bracket. So maybe you were in a 22% bracket. Now you're in a 30% bracket just on that money from the 401k plan. So that's what the government can do. Then there's also inflation risk. So if we have inflation and people are on a fixed income, they're going to be forced to draw more money out of their 401k, which is going to just compound this problem because now they're taking out more, more taxes, more possible penalties if that does happen. Um, the market risk, the market's been very volatile lately, so you also have that risk. If you're pulling money out in a down market, your money is going to run out very quickly quicker than it would had if it's it wasn't as volatile or it was in a place where you could um, it's safe um, so that's another risk what about longevity risk you could live too long and outlive your money so that's a possibility so my question to you is how insulated are from you all are you from all these risks from the tax risks from the market risk from the volatility risk from the longevity risk and if you'd like to see if you how exposed you are I'd love to show you um, you can give me a call at 215-660-0288, or as always, just go to my website. You can reach me there, www.dsfinancialstrategies.com, and stay tuned for next week because we're going to be talking more about the retirement income and ways you can actually get to your income and have it be safe. So I hope this was helpful, and as always, I empower you to live a happier, healthier, and wealthier lifestyle. Have a great day.